And I remember Sherman introduced me to Rudy Page. I heard the name, and it came through one of the heroes who have recently departed time to eternity, Thomas Foreman. Because Thomas Foreman and Sherman Allen shared a very the excellent relationship. Introduction rolled together in a very way. They were speaking about Sherman and Rudy Page. And it's so happy that Sherman invited me to London for us to develop this idea or the concept of an agency. As you heard, Llewellyn uh, spoke earlier about the concept and sense of national convention, traveling to Africa, and the, the various protocols which were developed along the road. And uh, Sherman told me that he would invite Rudy to a meeting. We would have a, a meal and we would go out to dinner and we share. And I remember having gone to London and meeting with Rudy. We explained the concept of what it is that we wanted to do. We explained to him that we were on our way in terms of transforming our ideas of mission and the sense of participation within a society and doing things that we wanted to do. And I remember Rudy saying, I want to be a part of that. I wanted to be a part of that. And those words rested with me. And, and, and that, that was not just a, a statement that Rudy had made per se. It was about a commitment that he had made. He, he saw the vision. He realized the direction in which we're going. He realized the implication uh, that, that I inferred from the statement. And in a classical Pentecostal way, it was not a, a way where a person would pick up to speak of conversion almost in a very programmatic way. But what I saw in Rudy at the time was a, a commitment to serving God and wanting to do something that was tangible. As much as he believed in God and loved the Lord, but it was more than just going to church. It was not just religion. He wanted to engage in transformation. And it was that's the way I came to know Rudy. But I want to say something about Rudy. Rudy is not a, a scholar in the sense of a, a university degrees that he possesses. But Rudy is a scholar from the point of view of reading and understanding and translating ideas into action. I'm going to say that Rudy is a key policy former and also a shape of policies and a sense of interpretation of the action and the outcome of policies and to make that policy work within society and its, its sense of impact on individual structures and the various other forms. And I'm always told that I've used many words, but if I may be brief today, I'm going to say that Rafa, for the organization that it is, is essentially the work of Rudy Page. We started, we knew where we wanted to go. We knew we did not have enough resources. We did not have the, the amount of money that we want to be in the organization to translate it to structures and all the necessary things that would make this vehicle fly. But effectively, Rudy came in and Rudy became the CEO and he brought the pieces together. But one specific thing I want to refer to you to today 
is called Passing the Battle. The last Olympics in London, the the, the developers and the, and the visionaries connected, they wanted the youth to be engaged. And they wanted the church to be involved. And I remember the first meeting that we had at Abedee Street. They came and they outlined the plans. Rudy Page was there. Chief executive was there. The plans were outlined. The vision was stated. And Rudy Page took the outline plans, mission that we were on. And at the outcome of the Olympics, the Church of God of Prophecy, Stroke Rapper, was the only religious organization that was awarded the special award because of how Rudy understood, executed, and met their requirement and met all the key objectives to bring the, the, the mission home. I want to give Rudy the highest honor that Robert Dabby offered. And I dare say, we are looking forward to going to heaven, Rudy, and I trust I'll see you there. Because it's the Lord himself who will but give the final statement. And I'm praying that when we meet before the Lord, you will receive that reward because we will not. But you have done what we can absolutely intrinsic to the nature, to the very transformation, development of the paradigm, capability, and the fact that we are able to sit here this evening and to celebrate something is about your work. It's about you, the man. It's about your determination. It's about your ability to translate policies into principle, policies into structures, motivate people, and to engage with others. And I'm a proud person to the fact that I've met you. I met you through Sherman. I met you through Pastor Woman. And I celebrate the memory and relationship. You have done today. Bless my brother. And we will be doing something special for you. But we will, when this pandemic is all over, we will disclose the whole story. God bless you. Thank you, Madam.